I've come to Europe to investigate the Bronikov method, a psychic system which claims to help the blind to see. Judy Dunk, a blind lady from Coventry, and I are in Alst in Belgium, where we've signed up for a four-day course in the method. We will take part in the beginner's course, level one. Although we're here to test the Bronikov method's claim to create a world without blindness, this psychic system actually sells itself as a method of human development, offering uses in wider medicine, finance, even architecture. In fact, on the courses I'll be attending, only a tiny percentage of people are actually blind. According to the Bronikov's proponents, over 300,000 people worldwide have taken the course, and it's not cheap starting at nearly 700 euros for level one. The course is being taught by Vladimir Bronikov, the son of the founder and the man featured in the publicity material. But these could just be simple tricks, and there have been accusations that they're achieved just by looking down the side of the blindfold or even through small holes in it. Certainly, many conjurers perform far more impressive blindfold stunts. Vladimir has been shown having difficulty replicating these feats when the possibility of cheating is removed. One of the leading figures in the movement is Peter Kamp, a Dutch technology expert who had tried to explain to us how the system works using a Hollywood-style analogy. And let's make a short step to the film The Matrix. In the, the Matrix. Matrix. I like The Matrix, yeah. It's a nice movie, isn't it? It's yeah. a really a cool movie. And we like it a lot. Because it explains what we do. Okay. It explains what it is. Only they do it a little bit slightly different than we do. So we've got a material world. So when we look outside, I see your body, I see yours, I see a cameraman, I see this board. This is in the material world. Mm -hmm. yeah? When we dream, we are in a non-material world. And there's a world in between which is reality. We call it. When Nano was a computer nerd in the Matrix, he was in this world. Then he took a pill and he moved to this world. And there he is, he's trained in all kinds of things like martial arts and he used it when he came back in this world. We don't shift bodies, but we only shift consciousness. So when we put on our blindfolds, our masks, we move to this space we trained here and we turn it off again and we are back here. That's what the Matrix is. You stay in Wonderland. The movie's dystopian vision of a future world in which the protagonists shuffle painfully between different levels of reality reflects much of what the followers of the method believe they are able to achieve using only their minds. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. From this rather eccentric start, things got stranger, as Peter went on to explain that the method has 18 levels, only three of which have been worked out. Mm -hmm. Level one teaches students how to generate the energy necessary to apply the Bronikov method. If I'm looking now, my brain gets the energy because light is coming through my eyes. But as soon as I close my eyes, where's the energy coming from? Eurogenital system. The Eurogenital system. So by doing the, the level one exercise, we improve this part. And as soon as I close my eyes, this generator starts to work. And it gives energy to my brain. If I don't develop that, it will destroy you. The brain would be drawing energy from the urogenital system that isn't there and would physically damage the body as well. Yeah, that's correct. So that's why the main thing within our method is safety rules. So much for level one. <laughs> Tina and Jan are keen to show me what it is to be blind. Yeah, you trust me? Yeah, yeah I trust okay. you. Okay, come on. <laughs> They've designed a kind of everyday obstacle course in which sighted people are plunged into darkness and taught how the other senses come in.